Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel. Please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with UiPath knowledge. So in this video, we are going to learn how can you extract data from a web page. So you can see there's a tabular data in this web page and I should be able to extract all the data and write it into a black Excel file. So how to extract web data to Excel in UiPath in this video we are going to learn. So let's get started. We'll first go with the demo and then learn the design. So let me run this file to understand the demo how it works. Okay. So on my taskbar, the automation could, yeah, it has started now. So you can see it has extracted the data. And now if I go, you can see the data has been extracted and has been written into the Excel file if you see. Okay, so the data has been extracted and written into the Excel file. Correct? So everything is perfect. So how this can be designed in a very, very easy way in UiPath Studio to extract web data to Excel, let's have a check. So first of all, what you need? To design this automation, you need an Excel file. So keep it open. And then you need to log into Acme website. So let me start from the beginning. All you need to do just type acme test uipath.com. Okay, this is the URL. Hit on enter, it will ask you to log in. Okay, so log in using your email address. Uh, if it is asking you to sign in, uh, if you are if you have for the very first time if you are doing sign in and register yourself, and after that, once you log in, you will be able to find this page. Now, to do this exercise, we will go to work items. Okay, and here you see a lot of data. If you go to multiple pages, there are data in all different pages. Okay, so how do I extract all this data and store it into a Excel? How to extract the web data and store it into the Excel in UiPath? Let's get started. Now, the very first thing we should do, you know, let's delete this. And it's quite easy, I'm telling you. Very, very easy option that is available on UiPath Studio for the extract web data. So there is something called table extraction. So you need to hit on table extraction, pretty simple. And once you have this, how to use this table extraction, let me teach you. The very first thing you should do is hit on add data. Okay. And the very first column that I have, I'm going to select that. That's all. You know, add data, select that. After that, you get this prompt, which is going to tell you, would you like to extract all the columns from the table? Say yes. Okay, and then what it does, it is going to show you all the different columns that is there in the table. Type status data, it will automatically add all of them. Okay, and then you need to configure the next button. So because the data is there in multiple pages, so you need to hit on next button and you need to click on this. So every web page would have a similar style. Will there will be a next button or somewhere you need to point that out. That's all. And you have selected all the columns and selected the this one. I'm also let you know how to apply some conditions. For example, I do not need this column. I only need that column. I need to short the data as per the date. So all these things I'm going to teach you. Okay, let's learn this basics. Then we'll get on to advanced. So all this is done. Now here limit extract ex extraction to. So here no limit. That means it's going to pull all the data. Let's say I want to limit max pages or max rows, let's say I need only first two rows. So you can go with two row, max rows. I need two pages, so I'll go with max pages, okay? And here you can define, let's say I want to go with the second page only, first and second, that's it, okay? I need only two pages. So you can define all the conditions in the table extraction to extract the web data, clear? And then hit on save. So what this will do, after you going through that table extraction, um, you know, uh, option, it is automatically going to add everything for you. And it is creating a variable called extract data table. The activity name is, you know, uh, extract data and then extract data table. Okay. So with this activity, the output is there and extract data and the output is extract data table. If you click on variable, you find extract data table as the data table variable okay now how do i write it to excel it is quite simple so to write it to excel all i have to do simply type excel 
and then the very first thing you should drag and drop is excel process scope okay one more important thing okay this variable that you see extract data table ensure that is by default it is there it to sequence so let it so that we can utilize this variable throughout our sequence wherever we need so i got the excel process scope and then let me drag and drop the use excel file and point out to the file where that file exists so i'll go to documents select the file click on open okay that's all nothing to do much here and then go to activities and then i wanted to because the variable is in data table format there is an activity called write data table to excel so drag and drop this activity write data table to excel to extract the web data uh, to write the web data now what to write what to write so what should i write it will be the data table that, that is there extract data table this one we should write and where should i write so hit on the plus sign go to excel and you can select the sheet one if not you can indicate in excel so i'll go with sheet one so that way it is going to write in the sheet one okay so let me save everything is blank okay let's go back to the studio uipath studio and everything is done now would you like to append you can also check the property of this activity write to data table in case you would like to append the data exclude headers so by default it will include headers ignore empty source okay all of this exercise you can do but again let's keep it simple so our workflow is designed let's quickly run this and see how this one is going to write the data for us okay i'm keeping this application in the background okay the automation on my taskbar has started and it has extracted the data and now the data has come now here you have a question rakesh look at this your data you have pulled the data but your action column is completely blank All right so that means you don't really need this column so how do i remove this column okay let me tell you how to remove this column so let's save this workflow and scroll down this extract date table data right there are two different options in case you would like to start the wizard from the beginning you should click on this we want to edit so you should we want to remove a column for that you need to click on this option Ex edit extract data you should click on this so let me click on this done now here what this wizard will show me it will show all the columns now let's say i don't need this column so i'm going to delete this column very simple okay and hit on save okay done now let's try to run this let's save it and let's run the file let's see how this time it's coming okay the automation has started let's go on to the second page and should have written the data now you can see the action column has been removed and it did not pull now here you have another question rakesh there's another question that i have here if you see the date is in different different order i wanted to put it in a ascending or descending order how can i do it okay again this can be done very simple let's go back to the studio again highlight the extract table data click on this um, you know breadcrumb symbol and then click on edit extract data click on this okay so i want the date to be shorted out right so go to the date column and there is option here settings option okay hit on settings and then uh, i want to short it so there is option here to short so you can go and there are three different option ascending descending so i'll go with descending and i'm going to hit on save save simple now run this workflow save it you don't have to save it but again it's good good practice to save so now again it's running uh, look at my taskbar the automation could start any moment yeah it has started okay it has gone to the second page and done very quick so now you can see uh, did it short the data it did not right uh, it did not short the data okay so let, let, let's delete it and run and let's understand why it could not short the data do you know why okay let's run run it once again 
ok ok looks like it has extracted the data ok now this time it has shorted probably I did not delete the data or something went wrong so now you can see that data has been extracted now I will give you a task ok I'll give you a task what you do here in extract data ok um, there is an option um, no let, let me tell you this way now let's say how it is coming month is coming then uh, you know uh, date is coming and the year is coming how about if I change the format year month date or something like that so how do you change the format you understood right where to go and change it um, so please find that out and let me know where you able to do this so I want you to change the format of the date so let's say year month date right something like that or year date month something like that so try where is that option available in this in this particular box where sh where you should go and find that option and let me know how many of you were able to do that okay so that is the task for you guys so thank you guys for watching it once again we are going to meet in our next video please do subscribe to my channel please do share with your friends who would like to learn UiPath we have almost I think 500 plus contents that we have created and many people who have gone through all our contents they just say if one goes through all the content it should be enough for you know attending the interviews enough for uh, going for the uh, you know advanced certification test so that much content we have created on our channel so please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that on a regular basis I am uploading videos so that you get a notification and utilize the information that we have published Thank you guys. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.